With me now is Zohar Kapsvi, and he's been with us before. Welcome back from Tudor Doctor. How Thank, are you? Great, thanks. Thanks for having me back again. Good. And in your opinion, what makes Tudor Doctor different than other groups? Well, where we're different is that, you know, we're a tutoring service. We're one-on-one. -on -one. We come to the, uh, the child's home, student's home. Uh, we work around their schedule. Our tutors are flexible. Uh, the big difference is we're not just a one-subject tutoring service. We're multiple services. So we provide uh, anything that whatever is needed in the home for, you know, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, whatever is needed, we'll do all of that and we'll bring it in. We deal with individual families, packages. Is for what's for what's needed. Kind of so, like a portrait studio in a way. Like okay. you could buy the five by seven, you could buy the eight by ten. Is it kind of like that? You it's so I, mean, that's, I never heard of it, you know, being offered that way. But yeah, absolutely, sure. I mean, we're a full service. In other words, you know, you know, we're not just going to say, say, okay, we can do the SAT, where we can do one subject or the other. We could do everything. And that's, what, that's where it happens to be my job, to go in, meet the student, uh, meet the parents, find out where the pain points are, find out what is needed by the student, and also to get to know him a little bit or her a little bit better, to make sure we make what we call our magical match, to make sure we get the perfect tutor that isn't just someone who knows the material, but someone who's gonna be approachable uh, to, this, to the student, because that's what it's all about. When you have somebody that you're able to you know, feel good around, you're more anxious to, to wanna learn. So that's what we believe in a tutor doctor. And how do you make that connection? Do you have like a little intake sheet? Like what's your favorite color? Like how do you make that connection well, for them? You know, I go, like again, I go and I do all the consultations. So I speak to the moms and dads and, and the students. And I ask them questions, what they like, what they don't like, what are some of their hobbies. Um, obviously I want to know, you know, what subjects they're good in and not good in and what, what's my reason for being there. But also to, to talk to them on a personal note so that I can convey all that information to the tutor that I think is going to be the best fit for that student. And I know that you've been very successful in many, many different businesses. Uh, why Tutor Doctor and where do you see Tutor Doctor's future going? Uh, well, you know what, when I was uh, in my previous career, um, I always felt that although it was successful in what I was doing, I always felt that there was, it left me a little bit empty and I always thought that the ideal thing to do would be something where I could help children uh, scholastically. I, I mean, I have two young children myself and I see now that you know, where, where I, I'm helping them with their st studies, um, I wanted to do it on a more broader uh, uh, way. And I, when Tudor Doctor presented itself to me, I just found a really good fit that it felt, with, it felt right to me. I felt I was doing good, my business sense kicking in uh, helped me, but also the fact that I was able to help uh, you know, other children, that's what, that was what I was passionate about. Where I hope to see Tudor Doctor, where I believe it's going, is that we're growing. We're growing exponentially every year globally. Um, more in my area, what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm, our name is getting more known. So that's, that's the more important thing. I, I want to see our brand awareness by when people say they want a tutor, Tudor Doctor is the name that's going to pop up. So that's where I see it, and that's what I'm hoping as well. Well, I know that you're a brand of integrity. I know how many people that you're helping, and I, in my own way, um, am happy that we're working together because I, like you, want to help as many people as possible. So thank you so much. We're going to um, now take a look at a little educational tip. So sure. stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Uh, this is Zohar in the house. Tutor doctor. Yeah, man. Woo thank you. And now through the magic of television, da -da 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 -da, Zohar is here with his tutor doctor tip. Hi, how are you? Great, great to see you. Good. It just seems like two seconds ago we saw each other, right? Absolutely. <laughs> bum. Okay, what is our tip for today? Well, the, the tip today is the proper environment for being tutored and for also studying on your own. Uh, the best thing to do is uh, when you come home from school, maybe not, not uh, right away, uh, you know, delve into the homework part of what you're doing. Uh, it's, it's always good to maybe eat something, get a little nutrition, an apple or something, nothing bad. Um, and also make sure you have a proper space. Uh, lighting should be good, maybe not too many distractions with brothers and sisters around, um, pets, that kind of thing. All, we find that all those kinds of things, it just leads to uh, distraction. And it's not, you're never going to get the best uh, tutorial, whether it's a tutoring session, and you're, you're never going to be able to really maintain and remember everything that you're learning if there are added distractions, whether it be uh, by uh, siblings or pets, or there have you. Or even the TV. Absolutely. You know, a right. lot of times kids come home, they turn on the television, their parent says, you got to do your homework before dinner, you got to do your homework before you go out and play, and, but the TV is still on in the background. Well, that's a, that's a great thing that you said that because it's one thing, that, you know, where I find like a lot of people, people children, my own included, uh, want to rush through their homework to be able to go watch TV or play Xbox 
or, or any or we. And that's also another thing that we, you know, I, I, you know, I try to tell my parents, like, it's great to reward your, your, your children, but you, you also don't want to make it seem like if it's something that they finish quickly, that they can go and do the homework, and, I mean, do the, uh, the, the Wii games or watch television. So it's got to be a, a good balance of both and, and not to rush things that way. Yeah, so that learning can actually occur. Happen, right? Right, right. right? It's not just a matter of like writing down, you know, some checks on a piece of paper or adding up a few numbers. Exactly. You, like you said, the, you're an input being. You actually have to get the knowledge and retain the knowledge. That's the most so. important part of it. I mean, it's one thing to hear somebody speak, it's another thing to listen to what they're saying. So that's always uh, the most important. Thank you, that's a great tip. So My tutor pleasure. doctor, right? Absolutely. Tutor doctor in the house with Donna Drake. This is Zohar.